Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. I wanna thank Policy Genius for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. Uh, this video is actually gonna be about how to pay off your mortgage early or trying to understand how much more money per month towards the principal will reduce the length of your mortgage. So uh, if you guys remember my home affordability spreadsheet, I created this from scratch. So this video is going to essentially take place in three parts. So I'm gonna show you the home affordability spreadsheet I'm going to show you how an amortization schedule works, and I'm also going to show you a very quick and easy tool that shows you exactly how, how long it'll take to pay off your mortgage, depending on how much more extra you pay per month. So uh, just to establish the criteria that we're going to use for this video, uh, let's pretend that this couple is going to buy a house that's $400,000. So this is my home affordability spreadsheet. If you guys haven't gotten this, I'll leave this in the link below. Uh, it is very useful, and it will save you a ton of money if you're in the home buying process. Um, so four. Uh, and some people in California, this will be maybe an outhouse or a trailer, uh, maybe somewhere in the Midwest. This is a nice little 3,000 square foot McMansion. Um, so I'm going to keep it at this $400,000 number. So if their down payment is 20 grand, you can, or excuse me, 20%, you can see that their down payment is going to be 80%. That's 20% of $400,000, meaning that their mortgage is $320,000. So we're going to use an annual interest rate of 3% over the term term of a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Um, so if you notice anywhere that's yellow, um, that means that you are inputting this information. So you can see that the taxes, let's just call it 7,500 bucks a year. Uh, some people will pay more, some people will pay less. Uh, if you're in New Jersey, you're probably paying more. Uh, if you're in, uh, you know, in the middle of a rural area, you're probably playing, paying less. Uh, the insurance, we'll just call it a thousand bucks a year. And we're going to say no HOA because these people are smart and they don't want other people dictating their lifestyle. So with that being said, you can see here that the number of payments per year is 12. The payment per period is 1349. The sum of payments is $485,688, meaning that the interest over the term of this loan being paid at the bare minimum is going to be $165,688. So that's what the, these people are paying over the life of this loan is $165,000. So if these people each make $65,000 a piece with no extra income, their total gross is one thirty. dollars Their net, let's just say, is $88,000 if we're taking off um, 32% for taxes, social security, things like that. Let's just pretend their monthly net is 7,367. You can adjust all this if you download the spreadsheet. You can see that their mortgage to income is 27.9%. If you include the utilities, you know, an extra 400 bucks a month or so, you can see that it's about one third of their income, leaving them with about $4,900 a month. So you're probably wondering, okay, this is pretty simple, Marco, but how do I understand uh, how to pay off my mortgage earlier based on these numbers? So if we go into bankrate.com. I'll leave this link in the description below. This is their amortization calculator. So a lot of people understand that, you know, I'm borrowing X amount of dollars. I understand my interest rate. I, am, I understand that I'm going to pay X amount of interest over the life of the loan, but they don't understand how mortgages work. They don't understand that they're typically front loaded with interest payments first. Then you're getting to the principal payments later on or a bigger chunk of the principal payments later on. So if we continue with this example, remember the house, the mortgage amount was actually $320,000. Remember it was 400,000 minus 80,000 down payment. The term of the mortgage is 30 years, meaning 360 months. And then the interest rate that we are going to, going to use was 3% from our example before. So you can see here that the monthly payments are 1349. Uh, the exact same amount that we came up with in our uh, mortgage affordability spreadsheet or home affordability spreadsheet. So you can see here that the total interest paid is the same, but how does this actually work? So if we scroll down, you can actually see based on this estimated payoff date, the time of this recording is June 21st, 2021. If it's a 30 year mortgage, let's just pretend like we just started this mortgage, right? So you can see here that the amount going towards the principal uh, meaning the amount that we actually owe is $549.13. The amount going towards the interest, however, is $800 a month for this first uh, payment. Our payment is the same for 360 months. It's always going to be $1349.13 for as long as the loan exists. However, you can see as time goes on, more is going towards the principal and less is going towards interest. So the point of this video is to help you understand, okay, if I get my balance down to a certain amount, 
This will help me understand how to pay off my mortgage earlier, depending on how much more I put towards my monthly payment, making sure that it goes towards the principal. So if we played a little game here, let's just pretend like we're 10 years into the future. So instead of being in uh, July or June of 2021, let's go to 2031. So if I scroll all the way down to July of 31, that brings us right here. You can see that now our principal payment is actually $129 greater than our interest payment and our balance overall, instead of being $320,000, you can see that it's 243,263. So uh, I'm gonna take you to the next part of this video, which will actually help you understand putting how much more towards your monthly principal will actually reduce this amount. So uh, just to help you solidify this concept, if you keep going all the way down, let's go 20 years out, okay? Let's, let's pretend like we're in July of 2041. You can see here that now we basically have $1,000 going towards the principal every payment we make and only about 350 going towards interest because our balance has decreased and also because uh, the payment is still the same. However, a much larger chunk is being paid down towards the back end of this 30-year mortgage. So if you remember, if we go all the way to this first payment here, look at the difference. $549.13 as opposed to $1,000 towards the principal 20 years later. So the next part of this video is going to show you exactly how much to put down per month to uh, reduce the length of the mortgage so you can pay it off early. But before that, let's get into this policy genius spot. If someone relies on your financial support or your financial well-being, whether it's a spouse, a child, an aging parent, or even a business partner, for example, you need life insurance. Uh, I know that I sleep well at night because I have life insurance. I am covered in the event of something happening to me, and I know that my wife and my future family will be taken care of. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. You can save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius and you could save $1,300 or more per year on life insurance by using Policy Genius to compare policies. So getting started is easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash whiteboard finance, and in minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. Policy Genius never sells your information to other companies, and Policy Genius doesn't add on extra fees. The licensed experts at Policy Genius work for you, not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to help you navigate every step of the shop and buying process. So head to policygenius.com slash whiteboard finance to get started now. Okay, so this next calculator that I'm going to show you is a very simple way of instead of playing around with the amortization schedule and trying to figure out what your balance needs to be to get you towards what year, uh, I'm going to show you this free tool from Bankrate. It's the early mortgage payoff calculator, um, and it shows you exactly however much you put towards your principal will reduce the mortgage length by in terms of you know months and years and things like that. So let's get right into that. So this calculator right here, I'll most likely leave this in the description below. Uh, let's pretend like we're using that same example, okay? Uh, however, we're, we've been paying on our $400,000 house or $320,000 mortgage for five years. So the first question they ask you is years remaining. So let's pretend like we're five years in the future. So our original mortgage term right here was 30 years, okay? So that means if for five years in the future, we've been f paying on this mortgage for five years, okay? So the original mortgage amount, if you remember in our example from our home affordability calculator, it was $320,000. Remember, it was 400 grand. We put down 20%, $80,000, and we got 320 grand, okay? We're using a 3% interest rate. So I'm gonna slide this down here. And this is the key factor right here, the additional principal payment. Remember, if we go back to this amortization schedule, you have principal payments and you have interest payments. This is the money you're paying to the bank for allowing you to borrow that mortgage amount. This is the money that you're paying towards your debt, okay? So if your debt was uh, 320 grand on this first payment of 1349, again, 549 is going towards the amount you owe, 800 is going towards the interest. So now let's pretend like uh, this couple right here who was originally making 65 grand a piece per year, let's just say they decided to, you know, uh, not go out to eat a couple times a month, or let's just pretend like they have a, you know, a side business making them X amount of dollars per month, and they're able to save an additional $150 a month towards the mortgage, towards the principal payment. Well, you can see right here on the top of the screen, you can see that it says mortgage repayment shortened by three years and six months, and it's saving you a total of 
$504 over the term of this loan, okay, over these 25 years or 30 years, whichever way you want to put it. So let's just say that from day one, they started making this extra $150 uh, per month payment. So, so the years remaining is 30. The original mortgage term is 30. Uh, the original mortgage amount is 320. The additional payment stays the same at 150. The annual interest rate is not changed. It's 3%, right? So you can see if they started doing this from day one, not five years into the future, they're paying down this 30-year mortgage four years and six months quicker, saving them a total of $27,700. Now, let's just say they decided to go crazy and they bought a house well below their means and they have a big chunk of you know monthly income that they're able to throw at this property. Let's pretend like these people can add another, I don't know, 500 bucks a month, right? Well, you can see now if they do this for 360 payments, it's actually going to be less than that because you're paying down the mortgage quicker. But for the first uh, payments up until uh, 11 years and one month minus 30, uh, they're paying back this mortgage now by basically 11 years and one month, saving them $66,000 over the lifetime of this loan. So you can see how powerful this is. So if I hit calculate, you can see exactly uh, the current payment, which we have correct, which is $1,349. The accelerated payments is just this amount plus 500 bucks, which is 1849 Their scheduled payments would have been 485688 which we figured out with the home affordability spreadsheet. Their accelerated payments have now shaved off that amount that we determined here. So you can see the mortgage balances uh, coming down. And it's going to end a lot quicker. It's going to end right here uh, with the additional payments, okay? So this is pretty interesting and it's pretty powerful. Um, a lot of Americans, especially now in this interest rate environment, and especially with uh, baby boomers not selling their houses and demand being increased, they're buying houses for more than they can afford. And that's why I highly recommend you check out that home affordability spreadsheet. It will save you a lot of time, heartache, stress, and money in the future uh, from becoming house poor and buying too much house than you can afford. So it's interesting. Uh, the debate is, should I pay off my mortgage early if it's a low interest rate, especially with a fixed 30-year term, uh, which in my opinion is a great hedge against inflation based on the way that monetary policy is going. Um, however, there's a lot of peace of mind with knowing that you own your home outright, except you're locking up all your equity literally in the walls of your house. And the only way to get that equity out is A, if you sell the property, B, if you take, if you borrow against the property, taking out a HELOC or, you know, a second mortgage or whatever you want to call it. So, um, but there is peace of mind to having a paid off property. So my school of thought is somewhere in the middle, uh, but this is for the people that want to know exactly how much more towards uh, per principal per month they're putting down, how much that will reduce, uh, excuse me, reduce the length of their mortgage. So as always, I hope you got value out of this video. Uh, thank you for watching the Policy Genius Spot. I don't really sell many things on this channel. Um, this just helps me pay the bills and the overhead of running this channel. Thank you so much as always. Share the video and have a prosperous day. Bob is a police officer making $65,000 a year. Betty is a nurse making 55 grand a year. And they just bought a 750,000. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys want to watch something about that, watch the big short. That was pandemonium. Those were ninja loans, dude. No income, no job. If you can fog a mirror, you're getting a mortgage. Uh, they've gotten a little bit more strict, but check out the big short. A uh, lot of insight into what happened in 07, 08. Don't buy more house than you can afford. Peace.